Not so hard. Nice and light when you put it on the water feathered. You grab too much water. It's before sunrise and the Orchard Lake St. Mary's rowing team is in the water. The eaglets are working on synchronizing drills before beginning their day in a sport that combines precision, pain, and beauty. Come on, clean it up. Rowing is the, uh, if you're not in the boat, you, you really don't know. And, and I think the beauty of rowing is that, um, you know, what's happening out on the boat, the experience is, is, is nasty, right? But, but when you surround yourself and you wake up in the morning and you're on the water, and you see the sun rising over the water and it's pristine conditions and, um, and you're getting ready to do your workout, I, I think it's a scenery that you don't find anywhere else in any other sport. I mean, sure you have the smell of the grass and the football field and those kinds of things, but you can't really replicate what you see in the spring, in the fall, in the summer when you're a rower because you're out here, you're by yourself, on the water, it's completely silent, and you have this beautiful, you know, beautiful, this chance to be this creating a beautiful image. On this practice day, the eaglets will row an equivalent of 10 miles with limited breaks. You're literally, there's a thing called an anaerobic threshold, which is essentially the, the, the top end of your ability to operate as a, in a physical way. And rowing essentially takes you to the 95 percentile at every practice. And so you, you're always kind of working out at the edge of what your body can, max, can, can take you to. For senior Zach Selig, there is more than the competition and the scenery that brings him to the water. Like, we have pictures in the, in the boathouse and pictures in the locker room of championships and you go into Glow's office and you see plaques and it's just, when you add one of those plaques to the wall, it's just, you are part of this and, I mean, we hear all the time about being brothers and yeah, you don't really know until you have like this experience of rowing with these guys and competing and winning and losing and it just brings you together as guys and as brothers.